Okay, for this question, you have to know the difference between the elastic and the inelastic range of a monopoly's demand curve. To get this, you have to go back to unit two for something called the total revenue test. This monopoly is a price maker, so to sell another unit, they've got to lower the price, and the additional revenue is less than that price. Now, as the price is falling, let's figure out what's going to happen to the total revenue. At zero units, they're going to get no total revenue whatsoever. Now, when they sell the first unit, they're going to get a certain amount of additional revenue. So that means their total revenue is going to be going up, right? As the marginal revenue is falling, the total revenue is going to be going up, but by less and less. Eventually, when the MR hits zero, the total revenue is going to hit a peak. If you sell a unit and the additional revenue is zero, then your total revenue is going to be maximized. When the marginal revenue is negative, the total revenue is going to start going back down again. This curve right here is the total revenue. So when you look at this quantity right here, the price is going down, but the total revenue is going up. So if the price goes down and the total revenue goes up, this must be the elastic range. And in this situation, the price is falling and the total revenue is falling. If the price is going down and total revenue is going down, then that must be the inelastic range. Notice the monopoly will always produce when the MR is positive. They're always going to produce in the elastic range. There's no reason to ever produce that here. I and mean, if they did, they should just decrease their output and go back to where the total revenue is higher. Now, don't assume that a monopoly should produce when MR hits zero. Right? That's where the total revenue is maximized, but not where profit is maximized. So let me put in a marginal cost curve. Right, this is the marginal cost curve right here. Would the monopoly ever produce this many units? No. If the additional cost is greater than the additional revenue, you're not going to produce those units. A monopoly is going to maximize profits where everyone else does, where MR hits MC. Got it?